Warning, Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. Every single political commentator in America, every single one of them knows this, that if you do not step out and say things that are radically pro-Israel, or if you are too quiet on certain narratives and they want you to be radically pro-Israel, you can lose everything. That's truth. That is a fact. I'm not, I'm not feeling like I need to hide from that anymore because, or be afraid to say it rather is a better way to say it because I've endured this for years. I'm just at the end of my rope. I've, I have given so much rope here and I am just done with it. Every person that you are a fan of, they know this. Every person that you line up to go here speak, they know this. Again, it's not even on the basis of what you say. It can sometimes be on the basis of what you don't say. That an entire mob will assemble. They'll write piece after piece after piece until you subjugate. If you don't subjugate, the bounty grows larger. So yes. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves coming at you with another video. Now, I know you're probably as sick and tired to of hearing about the whole Daily Wire versus Candace Owens shit. I, I know you're tired of it, and I don't blame you. I'm tired of it, too. But we never did get to uh, little Benny Shapiro's side of the whole story. So... What we're going to do for you, because this is just so much fun, we're going to start out, of course, by playing a radio interview, I guess. Not an interview, but just a call-in with, uh, you know, with, of course, the one of the producers and leaders of The Daily Wire, and that's Jeremy Boring, where a girl asks, why fire Candace? You know, what's up with that? Why won't Shapiro talk about it? And, of course, after that, we are going to play the actual interview that Pierce Morgan did with Benny Shapiro, in which he tried to get answers out of him, but he refused to answer any questions until finally Pierce actually caught him. Now, Pierce Morgan used to be quite a big liberal. I mean, a lot of people didn't like him. I mean, he was often referred to by Ted Nugent as the slimy limey, but uh, I think he probably still is. But uh, let's face it. I think that Pierce really has made a complete 360 in the last couple of years, going from liberal to fair-minded to probably now more traditionally conservative. I mean, there was this great uh, panel discussion with Officer Tatum, um, uh, the co-host of Pierce Morgan's show, and also, of course, some uh, gay dude. And them, they were just mulling it over about... Uh, about trans rights and transing the children, which, quite frankly, I think Pierce and Officer Tatum did a damn good job cornering this uh, fruity guy over, because since I can't say the F word here that rhymes with maggot. But let's take a look at both of those videos back to back without comment, and uh, I think they pretty much speak for themselves. Can I just ask this real quick, Nick? I'm sorry. Like, I, so I, I want to issue you a hypothetical, and I just want to get your response to it. Say you've got a really amazing opportunity to hire a conservative commentator. 20 years of experience, never set a foot out of line, just really strong conservative economic values, strong social conservative values, fits in right with what the audience of The Daily Wire is looking for. But that person starts making criticisms that are similar to what Candace Owens has been making in the past three months or so, and, and everything else about their record is just perfect. Would you consider hiring that person? Like, would that person have a slot at the Daily Wire or no? Are you trying to ask me why I fired Candace Owens? No, I'm asking you if you would hire someone with a beautiful, spotless track record of 20 years of amazing conservative values, but they made the same criticisms that Candace Owens has made in the past couple of months. Would that person have a job at the Daily Wire? Was Candace Wire? Owens a conservative for 20 years? I'm not saying no. that. I'm giving well, a No, Candace was not conservative for 20 years. So, no, this is not a Candace Owens. Yeah, I'm not that. This is the next Jordan up. Peterson. Oh, I thought they hung up on her. I'm going to sell millions of books, going to make you guys millions of dollars, getting millions of views on every video they post. But they've made the same criticisms Candace has made in the last six months. Does that person have a job? Yeah, I'm not. Even this is too close to the Candace thing for me to speak to because I feel like there are implications of this that I'm not willing to engage in. But if your question is, would I hire, um, you know, would, would I hire Bill Whittle if Bill Whittle suddenly said uh, that the 
there's a genocide going on in Gaza? No, I don't think that that's a person that I would hire at the Daily Wire. The consequences of this war has been a lot of very high passions on both sides, a lot of angry disagreements. You and your company have been at the centre of a very uh, high profile one at the moment with Candace Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Piers. At, at all? Of course you're not. At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. C can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not, you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, Don't you can get ask. snarky. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I only, I'm only curious because I know what a, a staunch defender of free speech you are. And it would surprise me if it had been someone's opinions that would make you want to part company with them. However, I mean, su suffice it to say, the only thing I will say is what I've said all along with regard to Candace or with regard to any of our other hosts. I am not in hiring and firing position with The Daily Wire. I'm a co-founder of The Daily Wire. I'm a co-owner of The Daily Wire. I'm not actually in management. Jeremy Boring and Caleb Robinson are in management positions with regard to Candace or anyone else. And as far as the free speech situation, what I will say is that no company has the obligation to literally pay anyone. The, the Daily Wire... I gotta ask a question. What is up with his eyebrows? I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm amazed his kids aren't scared to death of him. I mean, quite frankly, he looks like Dracula. All that's missing is the widow's peak. Is a, is a publisher, it is not a platform. I've never called for Candace or anyone else, for that matter, to be banned from YouTube, to be banned from X, to be banned from any platform. That's a different story, obviously, when it comes to any publisher. Any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. I mean, it's, I'm just not going to labour this, but one more point I would make is it's been reported extensively that the reason for her departure was because uh, her comments had been perceived by people at the Daily Wire as anti-Semitic. Again, I'm, I'm not going to comment on this, Piers. Okay. So there you have it. Ben Shapiro refusing to answer any of Pierce Morgan's questions about why Candace Owens was fired from the Daily Wire. As Ben just pointed out, he's not within hiring or firing position. Uh, that's really the job of Jeremy Boring, uh, because, well, he's one of the co-founders of the whole of the Daily Wire with Ben. But Ben doesn't work in management. That was the whole thing that he was trying to convey, other than refusing to answer the question directly. All right, you saw that. Ben Shapiro was finally caught in a trap that he couldn't get out of that uh, Pierce cleverly set up for him when he kept uh, avoiding the issue and saying, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I won't discuss it. I'm not going to talk about it. And it's like, well, you can talk about it all you want, but I'm not going to talk about it. But finally, I think Pierce Morgan had enough and just ambushed him into Cinda finally answering the question, sort of, by saying that he has, doesn't really have any official firing powers because, well, he, he may be one of the co-founders of the Daily Wire, but that doesn't mean that he works within the walls of management. And I think that, frankly, Pierce Morgan did a very good job setting him up and Benny finally fell for it. Once again, though, I don't really understand the point of firing her for a different opinion. I mean, yeah, okay, so she's against going to war with Hamas. That's perfectly sensible. So why would Ben Shapiro poo-poo that idea and also boo-hoo, whine, and cry that, quite frankly, we need to go to war with Hamas because Israel's our friend, right? Well, they may be our, they may be our only friends in the Middle East, but let's face it, I think they can handle the job perfectly on their own. They don't need us getting in the way, screwing up and making things worse. Why didn't Shapiro take that into account? That's what I'm trying to get at. I mean, it's hard to understand what Shapiro is even saying, even in this interview, because let's face it, he talks so damn fast you can't even keep up. But let's face it here. I mean, Shapiro's a smart guy, obviously. I don't think he's an idiot. But I just hate to see him go down the same level of just warmongering, uh, pussyfooting, and quite frankly, the same kind of rhino, neocon, um, how shall I put this? The kind of neocon, quick, bullshit, easy answers like Pawn Vanity, or anybody else on Fixed News for that matter. Right. So first you heard the radio spot 
with Jeremy Boring trying to explain why Candace was fired, but let's face it, I don't think the girl who called in got a satisfactory answer. And uh, I don't think she did at all. And well, let's face it, Jeremy and whoever else was on the line with him, well, they pretty much just hemmed and hawed about the reasons why Candace got the ax and why Ben is so insecure around her now. And apparently <clears throat> for a guy who basically advocates for free speech, won't allow any kind of legitimate debate, especially when it comes to Israel. Why? Because many conservatives look at Israel as sacrosanct. They look at it as, uh, well, something that you can't judge, something that is not to be uh, questioned, nothing, something that is not to, well, like I said, something not to be questioned. And, you know, you can't really ask any real direct questions about it. You can't even uh, say that, well, this side is right, this side is wrong. Quite frankly, I just think that's an absolute joke. I really do. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if so, leave a comment. Hey, like and smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. It's good for you, it's good for me. It helps the channel out, it helps us to grow, it helps us get better as a channel, because it's important to hit that, uh, you know, that million subscriber mark, that's very important, or whatever it, or whatever it is, 10,000. But uh, that's very important to us, and means the world, even especially to me. Uh, I don't want to sound like a sap about the whole thing, but that's the truth. In any case, well, remember that wokeness is weakness, something that I think Candace knows uh, the rest of the Daily Wire, including Jeremy Boring, does not get anymore. And Ben Shapiro, what more can I say about him? He's pretty much crossed over to the asshole side of the, polit of the political spectrum. Um, <clears throat> also, of course, remember, we need to have the power to the people back. Not the politicians that want to usurp it all away from us. And God knows there are way too many of them. Also, of course, remember that there must always be, no matter what the circumstances, there must always be the power to the music in the streets. And that is the music of our voices and uprise and revolt against tyranny, frustration, politicians, and, of course, those who claim to be advocates for free speech, but really aren't. Peace.